What's up LEGO and Star Wars enthusiasts? Buckle up because today is a day of epic proportions. Welcome back to the First Legion, the home of all things bricks and galaxies far, far away. I'm Zach, and today I'm embarking on my most ambitious LEGO Star Wars adventure ever attempted. I'm building every single LEGO Star Wars UCS set ever. But before we dive into this intergalactic journey, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and help me reach 100,000 subscribers because I will be giving away a UCS set to a lucky subscriber when I reach that milestone. Now, for those of you who might be new to the galaxy of LEGO Star Wars, let's take a moment to explore what UCS means. UCS stands for Ultimate Collector Series, and these sets are the pinnacle of LEGO Star Wars craftsmanship. They're not just building sets, they're meticulous recreations of iconic Star Wars vehicles and scenes, designed with the utmost detail and precision. Each UCS set is a masterpiece, a display-worthy homage to the beloved Star Wars universe. Get ready to warp speed through two decades of building, nostalgia, and the sheer joy that is the LEGO Star Wars UCS collection. So grab your lightsabers, Clear some space on your shelves and let's embark on the ultimate LEGO Star Wars journey together. Starting our showcase is set 7181, the UCS TIE Interceptor. Released in the year 2000, this Imperial Starfighter, composed of 703 pieces, not only embodies the sleek design of the Galactic Empire, but also stands as a testament to the early challenges faced by LEGO designers. The limitations in LEGO's colour palette during that era influenced certain design aspects resulting in inaccuracies in the TIE Interceptor. Despite these challenges, the set holds a timeless charm capturing the essence of the Imperial fleet and offering a unique perspective on the evolution of LEGO Star Wars sets. Also released in the year 2000, we encounter set 7191, the UCS X-Wing Fighter. With a formidable 1,300 pieces, this Rebel Starfighter takes us back to the heroic battles of the Rebellion. The X-Wing's iconic design is faithfully recreated, showcasing LEGO's commitment to capturing the spirit of Star Wars. However, the challenges of part selection during this period resulted in some design limitations. Despite this, the UCS X-Wing Fighter remains a significant piece in the LEGO Star Wars lineup, serving as a bridge between the classic and modern eras of UCS sets. Stepping into 2001, we encounter set 10018, the UCS Darth Maul. Departing from the Starfighters, this sculpture style set with a formidable 1868 pieces brings to life the menacing presence of the Sith Lord. The intricacies of Maul's appearance from his distinctive tattoos to the horns on his head are captured with precision. Despite facing challenges in capturing the natural curve of the Sith Lord's head using Lego bricks, the UCS Darth Maul stands as a striking addition to the collection, showcasing Lego's ability to capture the darker side of the Force. Later in that same year, we are introduced to set 10019, the UCS Rebel Blockade Runner. Boasting 1,748 pieces, this set transports us to the opening scene of A New Hope. The Rebel Blockade Runner is meticulously recreated in LEGO form. While this set beautifully captures the look of the Blockade Runner, LEGO's early building techniques leave this set with a very fragile design. Despite this flaw, the set's historical significance and storytelling capabilities shine through. The UCS Rebel Blockade Runner remains a timeless classic, a must-have for collectors and fans alike. Jumping ahead to 2002, we encounter set 7194, the UCS Yoda. This unique set, composed of 1,077 pieces, follows similar design methods previously seen in Darth Maul to bring to life the wise Jedi Master Yoda. The set is a detailed sculpture showcasing Yoda's serene expression and conveying his Jedi wisdom. Facing similar issues to the Darth Maul bust due to the difficulties of creating natural curves out of LEGO, the UCS Yoda stands as a testament to LEGO's ability to capture the essence of beloved characters. It remains a cherished piece for fans, adding a touch of wisdom and nostalgia to the UCS collection. Later on in 2002, we have set 10026, the special edition Naboo Starfighter. With 187 pieces, this set is by far the smallest of all UCS sets. Despite that, this set captures the sleek and vibrant design of the Naboo Starfighter featured in The Phantom Menace. The distinctive yellow and chrome accents make it stand out, bringing a touch of prequel-era Star Wars to the UCS collection. 
As we explore the details, the set highlights LEGO's dedication to representing iconic starfighters across the Star Wars saga. Finishing off 2002, Set 10030, the Imperial Star Destroyer takes center stage. With a staggering 3,096 pieces, this massive ship dominates the UCS liner. The intricate detailing of the command tower, the shield generators, and the overall shape make it a remarkable display piece. The set captures the imposing presence of the Imperial fleet, making it a standout addition for collectors who appreciate the grandeur of the Star Wars capital ships. Fast forward to 2003, we encounter set 10129, the UCS Rebel Snowspeeder. With 1,457 pieces, this set takes us to the icy battlegrounds of Hoth. The detailed construction of the Snowspeeder, including its harpoon and tow cable, reflects the Rebel Alliance's resourcefulness. As we delve into the intricacies, the UCS Rebel Snowspeeder emerges as a dynamic addition capturing the essence of the Rebellion's fight against the Empire. Next up in 2004, we explore set 10134, the UCS Y-Wing Attack Starfighter. Comprising 1,473 parts, this set brings to life the iconic Y-Wing in stunning detail. The unique shaping of the Starfighter, along with the intricate engine details, showcases the meticulous design work. As we uncover the features, the UCS Y-Wing stands as a testament to the Rebel Fleet's diverse and memorable Starfighters. Closing in on 2005, we have set 10143, the UCS Death Star 2. Boasting 3,441 parts, this set represents the iconic space station featured in Return of the Jedi. The intricate construction of the Death Star 2 surface and the inclusion of the Super Star Destroyer Executor make it a standout in the UCS collection. As we explore this set, it encapsulates the climactic moments of the original trilogy, making it a must-have for collectors. Stepping into 2006, we encounter set 10174, the UCS Imperial ATST. With 1,068 pieces, this set brings a fearsome all-terrain scout transport to life in an imposing scale. The detailed construction of the ATST's legs, cockpit, and blasters showcase the precision and attention to detail in LEGO's UCS series. As we delve into the features, the UCS Imperial ATST stands as a remarkable representation of the Empire's ground forces. Continuing our journey through 2006, we come across set 10175, Vader's TIE Advanced. With 1,212 pieces, this set immortalizes Darth Vader's iconic Starfighter. The sleek and menacing design, coupled with the detailing of Vader's TIE cockpit, captures the essence of the dark side. Exploring the intricacies, the UCS Vader's TIE Advanced becomes a standout piece for collectors, honoring one of the most iconic villains in cinematic history. Fast forward to 2007, where we are greeted by set 10179, the Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon. With a staggering 5,197 pieces, this iconic set represents Han Solo's legendary ship in unparalleled detail. The intricate construction of the Falcon's exterior, coupled with the inclusion of a limited interior space, sets a new standard for UCS sets. As we explore its features, the UCS Millennium Falcon stands as a crowning achievement in LEGO Star Wars history, captivating collectors with its sheer scale and attention to detail. Entering 2008, we encounter set 10186, General Grievous. With 1,085 pieces, this UCS set brings the menacing cyborg general to life in a dynamic pose. The detailed construction of Grievous's multiple arms, lightsabers, and imposing stature captures the essence of this formidable antagonist. As we delve into its features, the UCS General Grievous set becomes a unique addition celebrating the villains of the prequel era. Closing in on 2010, we explore set 10212, the UCS Imperial Shuttle. With 2,503 parts, this set captures the elegance and size of the Galactic Empire's Lambda-class shuttle. 
The detailed construction of the shuttle's wings and cockpit highlight the UCS series' commitment to replicating iconic Star Wars vehicles. The set has an imposing size when placed on the stand in the flight position, and the UCS Imperial Shuttle stands as a majestic display piece, offering collectors a glimpse into the vastness of the Star Wars universe. Later on in 2010, we encounter set 10215, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. With 676 pieces, this UCS set brings the Delta VII Atha Sprite class Starfighter to life. The sleek and elegant design of Obi-Wan's personal starfighter is captured in intricate detail. As we explore this set, it becomes a tribute to the Jedi Order, adding a touch of prequel era nostalgia to the UCS collection. Entering 2011, we are greeted by the imposing set 10221, the Super Star Destroyer. With a staggering 3,152 pieces, this UCS set represents the Executor class star Dreadnought in all its grandeur. The meticulous detailing of the bridge, engines, and overall structure captures the immense scale of this iconic vessel. As we delve into the set, the UCS Super Star Destroyer becomes a centerpiece showing the might of the Imperial fleet. Fast forward to 2012, where we encounter set 10225 R2-D2. With 2,127 pieces, this UCS set immortalizes the beloved astromech droid in stunning detail. The intricate construction of R2-D2's domed head, retractable third leg, and various accessories pays homage to one of the most iconic characters in the Star Wars saga. As we explore the set, it becomes a charming addition to the UCS lineup, celebrating the droid that played a pivotal role in the Rebel Alliance's victories. Also released in 2012, we encounter set 10227, the B-Wing Starfighter. With 1,486 pieces, this UCS set brings a distinctive Rebel Starfighter to life. The unique design of the B-Wing, with its rotating cockpit and wings, is captured in impressive detail. As we explore this set, it becomes a testament to the diverse and memorable Starfighters in the Rebel fleet, offering collectors a unique addition to their UCS collection. Moving forward to 2013, we come across set 10240, the Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter. With 1,558 parts, this UCS set represents Luke Skywalker's iconic Starfighter in Red Squadron. The detailed construction of the X-Wing's cockpit, wings, and engines capture the spirit of the Rebellion. As we explore the set, it becomes a thrilling addition to the UCS lineup, commemorating the heroic moments of the original trilogy. Jumping to 2014, we encounter set 75059, the Sandcrawler. With 3,296 pieces, this UCS set brings the colossal vehicle used by Jawas to life. The intricate detailing of the Sandcrawler's treads, crane, and unique shape captures the essence of Tatooine's desert scavengers. It stands as a testament to the diversity of vehicles in Star Wars, offering collectors a unique and iconic addition to their UCS collections. Entering 2015, we are introduced to set 75060, Slave 1. With 1,996 parts, this UCS set immortalizes Boba Fett's iconic Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft. The detailed construction of Slave One's distinctive shape, rotating cockpit, and cargo hold capture the essence of the galaxy's most feared bounty hunter. It stands as a remarkable display piece, paying homage to the Mandalorian legacy in the Star Wars saga. Staying in 2015, we encounter set 75095, the TIE Fighter. With 1,685 pieces, this UCS set represents a classic TIE Starfighter used by the Imperial Fleet. The detailed construction of the TIE's wings, cockpit, and twin iron engines capture the iconic and symmetrical design. It becomes a standout addition, showcasing the might of the Empire in the Star Wars universe. Moving on to 2017, we explore set 75144, the Snow Speeder. With 1,703 pieces, this UCS set brings the iconic T-47 airspeeder used by the Rebel Alliance to life. The detailed construction of the Snowspeeder's harpoon and tow cable, along with its distinctive shape, captures the essence of the Rebel fleet. It stands as a dynamic and memorable addition to the UCS collection, commemorating the battles on Icy Hoth. 
Bang in 2017, we encounter set 75192, the Millennium Falcon. With an astounding 7,541 pieces, this UCS set represents the iconic Karelian YT-1300 light freighter. The meticulous detailing of the Millennium Falcon's exterior, along with its interior features, sets a new standard for UCS sets. It stands as a crowning achievement in the LEGO Star Wars history, capturing the spirit of the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. Fast forward to 2018, where we are greeted by set 75181, the Y-Wing Starfighter. With 1,967 pieces, this UCS set brings a classic Rebel Starfighter to life in stunning detail. The intricate construction of the Y-Wing's engines, cockpit and weaponry capture the essence of the Rebel Alliance's versatile Starfighter. It becomes a dynamic addition to the UCS collection, celebrating the iconic ships of the original trilogy. Entering 2019, we encounter set 75252, the Imperial Star Destroyer. With 4,784 pieces, this UCS set represents the imposing dagger-shaped capital ship of the Imperial Fleet. The detailed construction of the Imperial Star Destroyer's bridge, engines, and overall structure captures the might of the Empire. It stands as a commanding centerpiece in the UCS collection, showcasing the grandeur of the Star Wars capital ships. Next up in 2020, we explore set 75275, the A-Wing Starfighter. With 1,673 pieces, this UCS set brings a nimble Rebel Starfighter to life in an impressive scale. The detailed construction of the A-Wing sleek design, cockpit and engines capture the agility of this iconic ship. It becomes a thrilling addition to the UCS collection, honouring the fast and formidable vessels of the Rebel fleet. Fast forward to 2021, where we are introduced to set 75309, the Republic gunship. With 3,292 pieces, this UCS set immortalises the versatile and heavily armed gunship used by the Grand Army of the Republic. The detailed construction of the Republic gunship's cockpit, troop bay and weaponry captures the might of the Clone Wars. It stands as a dynamic and formidable addition to the UCS collection, celebrating the prequel era. Later in 2021, we encounter set 75313, the AT-AT. With 6,785 parts, this UCS set brings the colossal and heavily armoured all-terrain armoured transport to life. The intricate detailing of the AT-AT's legs, head and body captures the imposing presence of the Empire's ground assault vehicle. It stands as a massive and iconic addition to the UCS collection, showcasing the might of the Imperial forces. Entering the year 2022, we explore set 75341, Luke Skywalker's Landspeeder. With 1,890 pieces, this smaller UCS set immortalizes Luke's iconic Landspeeder from A New Hope. The detailed construction captures the sleek design of the Landspeeder, making it a compact yet memorable addition to the UCS collection. It pays homage to the beginnings of Luke Skywalker's journey in the Star Wars saga. Also released in 2022, we are greeted by set 75331, the Razor Crest. With 6,187 pieces, this UCS set brings the Mandalorian's iconic gunship to life. The detailed construction of the Razor Crest's hull, cockpit and weaponry captures the rugged and functional design of this fan favourite ship. It stands as a tribute to the success of the Mandalorian series, offering fans a piece of the Star Wars universe's new frontier. Moving on to 2023, we encounter set 75355, the X-Wing Starfighter. With 1,949 pieces, this UCS set brings the classic Rebel Starfighter to life in a larger and detailed scale. The intricate construction of the X-Wing's wings, cockpit and engines capture the spirit of the Rebellion. It becomes a compact and dynamic addition to the UCS collection, celebrating the iconic ships that played a crucial role in the Galactic Civil War. Closing the year 2023, we explore set 75367, the Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser. With 4,784 pieces, this UCS set immortalizes the grand capital ship used by the Galactic Republic during the Clone Wars. The detailed construction of the Venator class cruiser's bridge, 
engines and overall structure captures the might of the Republic fleet. It stands as a commanding and iconic addition to the UCS collection, celebrating the prequel era in grand style. Thank you fellow LEGO and Star Wars enthusiasts for joining me on this incredible journey through the entire history of LEGO Star Wars UCS sets. From the humble beginnings of the TIE Interceptor to the grandeur of the Venator class Republic attack cruiser, each set holds a unique place in the hearts of collectors and fans. If you enjoyed this comprehensive showcase, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to me for more LEGO Star Wars content and ring the notification bell to stay updated on future videos. Share your thoughts in the comments below, which UCS set is your favourite? As we continue to build and explore the galaxy together, may the force and bricks be with you. Until next time, happy building and may your UCS collection grow with the excitement of a hyperdrive.